Hi, I'm here talking about extending a portable air conditioner hose. This section that's in the window, a universal hose, it needs to connect all the way to a second hose, the original hose, that goes to my portable air conditioner in my studio, which is connected behind the speaker. It's in a cool aid sleeve, this sleeve right here which keeps the heat inside the tube. Without the sleeve, the tube can reach 120 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures near the window. The heat stays in the tube, and the outer side of the tube is only 80-something degrees. This is the replacement uh, elbow cool aid sleeve right here. I have this sheet metal elbow here, 5 inches, and I have six inch clamps called worm clamps right here that will go around the end of the duct and I have tubing insulation with tape on one side that will wrap around the edge of the duct. As you can see the metal tubing of the duct goes inside the exhaust hose. The duct is five inches diameter. This is five and a half inches. There is a space in between which I will take up by putting an insulation strip over the end of each side of the duct. I have added the tape, insulation tape, to the edge of the duct. And this will give space between the hose and the duct. You can see I've twisted the elbow into a shape that will be good for connecting both ends. Be very careful, it's sharp inside the tube. I cut myself. I will be okay, but you have to be very careful. This is sheet metal and it will cut you. Be careful. The insulation is taped on both ends of this duct. Here you can see one end of the duct is inserted in the hose and clamped down. Insulation is between the duct and the hose to make a basically tight fit, but it is slippery with the hose and the insulation, so basically you tighten it down as best as you can. You can see the window part of the hose is installed into the boot by the window and that should be fine. I'm going to put the sleeve, second insulation sleeve over this exposed hose right now. Pulled out the hose to make it approximately the same length that I will need it. As you can see the window hose is now covered with the Kool-Aid heat sleeve shield. I've attached the two. You can't see where it's attached. The hose goes all the way down behind the speaker to the Frigidaire portable air conditioner. And what I will do is now take these zip ties and zip the hose heat shield in place. And there you have it. The extended hose with the Kool-Aid heat shield going from the window behind the couch to the Frigidaire portable air conditioner. Back again, between the bookcase and the couch, all the way up to the window. Checking the temperature of the portable air conditioner that's been running for a while with this extended hose set up. Aiming it into the inside, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Scanning it again, 36. Now moving this over to the hose right over here. Eighty degrees. Eighty degrees. Eighty two degrees. Seventy nine degrees. Where the junction is, ninety two degrees. A little bit hotter. 
but then right below it it's 80 degrees right above that elbow 81 degrees 82 degrees and just to double check the Frigidaire 39 degrees coming out of that Frigidaire and it's set at 68 degrees and that is the Frigidaire portable air conditioner 13,000 BTU with an extended hose with an air duct elbow inside hope you liked this video give me a like if you like it and subscribe for future information and adventures be well